Welcome back to Texas Eats. Now we're gonna go inside one of the oldest buildings in downtown Austin that has a haunted history, plus they're serving up some delicious Southern comfort food. Let's go inside Moonshine. Joining us now is Joe Wynn. Thank you so much for having us out here, brother. Now, this restaurant is one of the oldest spots in downtown Austin. That's right. And it also has some haunted history to it, right? Just a little bit. <laughs> you just said that now, got goosebumps. Like my hairs are literally sticking up right now. Is there a particular hot spot in the restaurant that people really notice, like spirits and activity? Oh, absolutely. I think one of them is where we're standing right now. <laughs> Um, this actually used to be a lower table with uh, a four uh, top section here and two top section here and uh, guests reported to us multiple times uh, to the management team that our staff kept coming by and tapping them on the shoulder oh. and it wasn't just one guest it wasn't just two it was multiple guests that report the same thing over and over and over right. and we look at the camera system and we're like there is nobody going by there tapping you on the shoulder it was the oddest thing but the particular one we we're talking about is actually a young girl um, there's a tree that we have uh, on our veranda that she was swinging on and there was a well that's actually still there um, that she was swinging on and supposedly fell into that well and uh, passed away um, so her spirit continues to live on around this restaurant. <laughs> that's, that's just spooky though, you know what yeah. I mean? I mean, she seems playful enough. It's a shoulder tapping kind of ghost. So this is the last standing Sunday house in the city of Austin. It was built in the 1850s. Um, <laughs> was that a guy? <laughs> oh, no, that was somebody else. Okay, um, I thought I was like, oh man, what'd you bring me in? I know, right? Uh, one day we were closing down the restaurant. This was locked. Nobody had been here for a couple of hours. I notice a, a circle of chairs at the center of this room. Like right where we're standing. Right where we're standing. Now, we're getting a taste of the top items on the menu. Right in front of us now, we have all the delicious food coming out of the kitchen. These are like the top items on the menu. And right here, you got a burger that's just loaded. I mean, is that like pimento cheese that's in there? Oh yeah, that's a uh, secret pimento cheese that we make. Um, a big old burger patty, eight ounce burger patty, uh, a bun from uh, one of our friends or some of our friends in Slodo and Houston as well. You know what? We're gonna cut this burger in half. Look, Look at the inside of that, cooked to a beautiful medium rare medium. And then you have the pickles. You have a really delicious oh, pimento cheese on there. Yeah, I know, it's super juicy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Now this is a rack of ribs, and how is it prepared? Now we actually smoke the ribs for about five to six hours, and then we throw it on the grill, and then toss it in a apple, or Dr. Pepper apple barbecue sauce. Oh wow, now look at this, super tender. Oh, but look at this. Bones. Oh my god, look how. That's where it's at. Really? All right, you know what, here. Demon hot. You gotta get one. Just St. Louis baby back ribs, sauce on the side, little tobacco onions right there. You already dipped it in your side. <laughs> I'm gonna dip it in the sauce that comes on the side. That's the bite. Oh. oh, wow. Can't get any better than that, y'all. Oh, wow. Mm. Now, we're gonna jump over here. Chicken and waffles. This is like a Southern classic, right? Oh, absolutely. It's uh, one of our most popular dishes here. Chicken. That's the waffle. <laughs> Join get me it. here, come get on. It, David. We're right. hungry, baby. All we're right. going. Cheers. Cheers. Bye, the chicken and waffles. Cornbread waffles and fried chicken. Put them together, syrup, a little bit of spicy gravy as well. Absolutely delicious. And when you make a little sandwich out of them, you take that bite, I mean, there's really nothing better. You guys, Moonshine here near downtown Austin. You can come out here and enjoy yourself with great food, bourbons, whiskeys, a whole selection. I mean, you guys have one of the largest selections in the city, if not the state. Plus, who knows, you might run into a spirit while you're drinking some spirits, right? Amen. Cheers. Cheers. All right, gotta try this one. Ready? That's the one. That's how you finish the meal. More Texas Eats coming up right after the break.